hello welcome back to the channel this is probably just gonna be a short video to discuss about my recent visa application here in the uk i've been working in my current trust for three years now so i have to renew there's just a confusion in my part because when i started in this trust february of 2020 at the time there was no health and care visa yet it was just year two visa covid happened like march a few months after they started to have the health and care visa already so that's where my confusion comes in because i initially started with a tier 2 visa and then i extended a health and care visa on the system after i applied for it i was like anxious maybe i did the wrong thing but so far so good i'm just gonna discuss to you the process it's quite a long process actually because there were like a lot of questions just take note guys that there is information on the first page of extending your visa so for example you need to have the same job as you were given on your previous permission to enter or stay in the uk and all those things so make sure to read on that first before you apply to make sure that you're doing the correct application this is basically the link if you're doing that you are on the right track baby it will ask you if you have a valid brp you have to create a uk vi account as well on the website you just need to follow the step-by-step -step guide like next 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 and then at one point it's gonna ask you if you have iphone 7 or like a newer model as well because that's like a compatible smartphone device where you can scan your current brp so you just have to like put your brp somewhere on a table on a flat surface and then you just need to scan it on your phone isn't that amazing like this world right now that we are in with all this electronics and all that stuff this is the defining moment if you will need a face-to-face -face appointment or you don't have to and i'm gonna show you what app did i use this is the app the uk immigration app and when you open it it will ask for qr code or connection code which will be connected as well on your account online enter the code you are given and press connect you need the connection to build a connection so it will also ask for the occupational classification code which is still the same i'm still doing the same job as i was doing before as a nurse and then it will ask you for your annual salary as well your previous address history the last three years that you've been living in the uk and your relationship status and i'm so single right now so i'm like no i'm single <laughs> and this English English language ability as well they ask if your COS is saying that you already have like English tests and whatever which it doesn't show on my COS but I just tick yes because I know that I took the IELTS exam even though it was like five years ago I know that it's still valid even though it doesn't show on my COS that I took the IELTS and whatever but I know that they wouldn't really give a fuss about it what else were the questions I just remember there were like a lot of questions and it took me a long time to to be filling up the details and then i just paid for it which was 247 pounds and the turnaround time after submitting everything i got the email confirmation that my application was successful 16 calendar days and then i received the physical card in the mail after seven calendar days which is actually not that bad because the turnaround time is actually like eight weeks so that's the whole process guys the new process with the app is really convenient for me and i really like it because it saves me money and also the time to be going for an appointment why i applied for the health and care visa is because it's cheaper basically it's like 50 percent off from the tier 2 work visa and also if it's a tier 2 visa that i have to apply for i will have to pay for the health surcharge which is really expensive it was like 300 pounds per year and for three years it's gonna be 900 pounds and i don't have that money right now i'm so broke so yeah i opted for the health and care visa but after i applied for it i got worried that i did the wrong thing and that's why i'm sharing this guy so you wouldn't worry just do the health and care visa even though you started with a tier 2 visa you're still doing the same job as you were doing before you're still with the same trust you're just extending your visa and you're a nurse of course you are eligible don't worry i was worrying about something that hasn't happened because my application didn't have any problems yet i was just waiting for it and i was worried and you know it's a wasted energy and yeah i am already 
extended i'm already extended you guys <laughs> somebody asked me with my previous vlog when to resign if you are transferring from one trust to another the answer is it depends with the time that you need to render for your resignation so for example if you need four weeks time to resign i suggest you submit your resignation letter five weeks before your start date with your new trust so that you have one week time to rest or to you know just chill before starting with the new job in that way your nhs continuing service will not be affected it will still continue to count unless if you do two weeks or more than a week of having like no job being unemployed basically then your nhs continuing service will reset to zero and you will not be able to take advantage of your maternity leave or other benefits if you haven't been working in the NHS for one year continuously any leave credits that you still have you can use it while you are rendering if you're not happy anymore with your current trust and then you can have another one week of being unemployed and then start with your new trust let me just tell you my work history here in the UK I've been working four years now nearly five years I came here year 2019 November I started in what for I worked there for one year only. I transferred to London. I remember last time when I was transferring from the old trust to my current trust, they had to ask me when am I going to start with them. I was confused at that time because I thought they will be the one deciding. But actually, it was me who needs to decide because that was the time they were about to give me a certificate of sponsorship so I could apply for a new visa under their sponsorshipness. <laughs> I had to decide when am I going to give my notice of resignation and then from that day i have to count five weeks after and that's the time i could start with them and usually it's a monday even though i didn't have a certificate of sponsorship yet at the time i already submitted my notice of resignation even though you don't have a cos as long as you already pass the interview you have a job offer conditional job offer then i suggest you go for it i think that's it guys thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope you subscribe to my channel and comment down below whatever happened to your application if you have something to share about your visa application or your questions comment down below and i'll try to answer the questions as much as i can if i know the answer don't be shy guys come on and i will see you on the next vlog bye how many times will i tell you that i'm so broke but yes that's the truth but manifestation i will have more money i will be more financially stable i will be okay but look at my hair you guys it's nice isn't it i just bought a hair color in asda and then i was just like doing this and people are like noticing it i get a lot of compliments about it and they were like oh did you do it in the salon and i was like no i did this on my own and i was like yeah you are so great i kind of like it this is the first time that i'm doing like a red color on my hair i feel like i'm a rebel this is like a revenge to my nursing school back then where we couldn't dye our hair because you know it's just i don't know what's wrong with dyeing the hair but i think it was part of the discipline especially in the philippines where it's a bit more strict especially in nursing school so shout out to my professors back in nursing school look at me now i have red hair <laughs> anyway i should end this vlog here bye